To populate the filters for your Salesforce request, you can set a static input parameter on the start shape to ensure the documents are of type prospect. To accomplish this, we need to understand how to set and use the parameters. The parameters view is a common interface for configuring runtime inputs, and a similar menu is referenced throughout the platform. As the image displays, there are many different parameter types to choose from. You can reference elements from documents, reference the system date where the process is executing, define lookup inputs against databases and system APIs, and you can build dynamic messaging and notifications. Please keep in mind, not all the profile types will be available everywhere in the process. Since we're embedding the Salesforce query in the start shape of the new process, the parameters tab will be available to us. Anytime we build a read request against an API with input parameter, we need to supply the input parameters, which can be either static or dynamic values. I'll demonstrate how to set the Salesforce runtime parameter and test the process in exercises five and six. To populate the operation filter for our Salesforce account request, set a static input parameter on the start shape. The input ensures the account response XML documents are type prospect defined by the Salesforce business user. So we're going to open the start shape and then we're going to click on the parameters tab. There's two ways we can do this. We can either double click on the start shape itself and then tab over to parameters, or we could also just click on the parameters zero of one set, which will take us right there. Once we're in the parameters view, we're going to add a new parameter. So we're going to click on the plus arrow. The input type we're going to choose, which is type equal. OK, the type is going to be static and the static value is going to be prospect. And be sure to correctly spell the static value. The stored values on the destination data system must match identically. So we're going to click OK on the Parameters tab. The created parameter is now going to be displayed. So the name is type equals, and this value is static value of prospect. So we're going to click OK to return to the process, and we are going to save the process. That completes exercise five, and now exercise six to test the process. Or before we continue, we're going to check to see if the two Salesforce records are successfully picked up. It's a best practice to continually test your process at various stages throughout development. So we are going to click on the test button in the top. We're going to select our test atom cloud. And we're going to run a test. The yellow halo shows that it's processing right now. A green halo behind will show that it's finished processing through that shape. If we click on a, a shape, you can see a black box showing us the logs for that particular shape. So now by clicking on the Salesforce start shape, what we can see is two documents were returned. We can look at the connection data for this and we can view it. So we see that the name for the first prospect is Gene Point. And the name for the second prospect is Edge Communications. And if we're looking at Edge Communications, you can see that the type C is prospect type, and that's why it was pulled. Perfect. Now you can complete exercise five, set the Salesforce runtime parameter, and exercise six, which is testing the process.